Okay, we have a good one here today from the MIT integration, be 2017, number eight. We have the integral from minus infinity to infinity, e to the minus two x squared minus five x minus three dx. Okay, the first thing I wanna notice is just the similarity to the Gaussian integral. We have the correct bounds, we're going minus infinity to infinity. Also having something squared here in the numerator with the negative side. The only thing is we really need to clean up this exponent because it's not gonna quite work this way. So what we can do is factor this, and actually I think I want to complete the square on it. The first thing I'm going to do, let's rewrite it and just get the minus out of there. So I'll factor a minus out of everything. But really what I want is I'd like to have a 1 on this coefficient. We could do it another way and have a perfect square on there, but let's just do it. I think it's going to be a little easier in this case to factor out the 2. So we're going to write this as minus 2 x squared plus 5 halves x plus 3 halves. And then completing the square, what's going to happen here we're gonna have x plus this part plus this value, but one half of it, so we're gonna need here five over four. I think this pen is pretty much dead. Then multiplying it out, you're gonna get these first two terms. Then for the last part, you square five fourths, so you're gonna get 25 over 16. So let's subtract that off, so I'm not changing it. And then let's add in this part, but let's get a common denominator. So if I multiply by eight over eight, this becomes 24 over 16. But then 24 sixteenths over 25 sixteenths is just gonna be minus one over 16. So let me fix that. And then let me kind of distribute stuff back in. I'm gonna distribute in the two here and the minus two here. So like here, I'll keep a minus sign off for this part and I distribute a two in here inside, because this is square, this is gonna become square root 2x plus 5 square root of 2 over 4. Then minus 2 times minus 1 over 16 is a plus 1 over 8. And now keep in mind, this thing is all the exponent on our e. So let's just throw that e back in there. But then because we're adding in the exponent, I can separate this out. We can create a separate term here. We can write this as this thing times e to the 1 over 8. And then let's take all this, put it back in the integral, but the e to the 1 over 8 this I can bring out front of the integral because this is just going to be a constant. And now here with the rewrite, we're in good shape for a u substitution. Is if I just do a u substitution here, then this is going to be perfectly in the right form for the Gaussian integral. So let's see, if I come over here, we're going to make u all this stuff, which is kind of a mess, but it's going to clean up really, it's going to really clean up when we do a derivative. So like our du value, this part's going to be zero. So the derivative here is just going to become square root of two dx. Well, to create the du, I can just multiply in a square root of 2 over here, just as long as I divide by it out here, so I'm not changing it. And so going ahead with the substitution, first update the bounds. So you plug infinity in here, it's still infinity. You plug minus infinity, that's still minus infinity. This here becomes e minus u squared, and everything else is just du. But then this is exactly our Gaussian integral right here. So we have a known value for this and we have the full Gaussian integral for minus infinity to infinity. So this is gonna be square root of pi. And so what we can do is put this all together. But I think what I'm gonna do is let's try to bring it all under one square root. You could leave the e to the one eighth out, but I'm just gonna bring it in because I feel like it. So we're gonna have just pi over two inside here. But then for this, I need to update the exponent. So let's write it as a fourth root of e just noticing the fourth root of e is like one fourth to the one half gets us back to this one eighth, and that's it. Okay, there you go. A really good one from MIT 2017. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.